Pep, that's a fantastic way to start the week off here at Valderrama. How do you reflect on that opening round? I don't remember how to do these things. It's been a while. <laughs> um, I love this course, you know. Today I was lucky enough to, to hit it straight and, and manage to, to score a round, which this course sometimes uh, won't allow you to. But uh, yeah, I think I had, I was, I had pressure to be honest from the beginning, but I think I managed it well. My emotions were kind of stablish and yeah, happy with it. Tell me about that pressure. Is it from playing at home or is it pressure you put on yourself? Well, it's just, my expectations are, are always so high and even when I'm not playing well, I keep them high and it's just, uh, I've been carrying a lot of baggage on my back since the beginning of the season. It's been a terrible season and I feel like it, it's been like the one that I work harder, you know, so it's hard to accept that and, and it's very frustrating, but today was a good day. Tomorrow uh, probably it's not going to be as good, but uh, we'll try. Obviously, you started with that bogey on the, on the second, but to keep it in the red numbers there after, how satisfying is that around a course that, that can really bite you hard? It's just more satisfying to stay in the present. I think in my position, I'm not in the bubble to keep my car. I'm way behind, so it's, uh, I, I've got nothing to lose. I really don't care much how this week goes, uh, if you understand what I'm saying. So. I was able to stay in the present. I think I'm more proud of how I was emotionally uh, than how my game was. Uh, at the end of the day, you can score, you cannot, you cannot really control that. But uh, again, it was a good day. I'm going to enjoy it and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Knowing that you're maybe not in the best frame of mind, but when you come to a place that you, you, you generally know well as a, as a Spaniard, does that help with that carefree attitude? Yeah, when you of go course, I've, I've got good memories from here. I, my first tournament on the main tour, when I just turned pro, I was here and I was calling on Sunday. So, of course, I do have uh, good memories and it's, it's great to play good here. Uh, I, again, I love this place. I think that, um, you know, one of my goals is to do great things on here. It would be very special, you know. But, uh, again, I cannot control it. We'll see how it goes and I'll just keep my mind on peace. Pep, a great way to start off the week here at Valderrama. How do you reflect on that opening round? Contento por hoy. La verdad es que la escuadra más o menos rectas. Eh, fallé por el lado bueno todo el rato. Metí los pads de tres dos metros que tenía que meter para par. Así que lo salvé bien. Mañana ya veremos qué pasa. You've talked about the pressure that you might be feeling, but to come to a place that you know so well with perhaps a carefree attitude. Does that help when you go out and tee it up? Ayuda porque estoy en una posición que no tengo mucho que perder, la verdad. Me gustaría estar en otra, pero estamos en esta. Así que intento solamente disfrutar y hoy las he cuadrado bien, pero mañana ya veremos lo que pasa. Lo normal es que no vaya, no vaya tan bien, pero bueno, eh, mantenerme disfrutando, pase lo que pase, y un poquito eso. No sé si today with that bogey on too, but to keep it in the red numbers there after, that must be very satisfying. Sí, pero estoy más contento de cómo estuve emocionalmente en el presente todo el rato, aceptando lo que venía y es más fácil cuando vienen cosas buenas, pero estuve disfrutando el día de hoy y ya veremos qué tal mañana.